Hello, I'm May, and I think I've raised a simp. Think you raised a simp? If you don't know he's a simp or not, then what the fuck are you doing here? I had a blast making the last video, so I wanted to make another video about these kinds of animations. So here it goes. And also, nobody told me that the voices in my last videos are so loud. I don't want to hurt anybody's eardrum. Anyway, let's get to the video. But I can't tell you his real name in case anyone recognizes him, so for this story, I'll just call him Hans. It doesn't make any sense. You don't use your son's last name. So it doesn't matter if you say his real name or not. Anyway, I've always known Hans was special. As a small boy, he loved going to the park. But instead of playing on the swings with the other children, he would spend the whole time off by himself, under a tree somewhere, digging in the dirt with a stick or pulling back the tree's bark looking for insects. These kinds of kids are the ones who turn out to be serial killers. But for real, teach your children how to have fun and socialize. These are the skills that not knowing them may get them into trouble when they're older. Hans developed a full-blown obsession with bugs. Spiders were his absolute favorite. No, I take back my words. He's an absolute freak. I'm dead serious. He would constantly remind us that most female spiders eat the males when they're done with them. Boys are useless, he'd say. You are wrong. Humanity is useless, young man. Girls are the real queens. Girls are queens, boys are kings. This is that you fucking idiot. I didn't think much of it at the time. You didn't think too much about it because you were busy raising as blindly as possible. But looking back now, that's the logic he applied to people as well. On the way to school, Hans would offer to carry his older sister's backpack, saying, Girls needed to be looked after. They are the mothers of the future. I agree that girls should be looked after, and they are mothers of the future. But dear writer, not a single kid will say this to his sister. When you're writing, at least try to make it sound real. Since, you know, you guys are the ones who say we tell true stories. During his third grade parent-teacher conference, his teacher praised his manners and said Hans was a little gentleman. This kid is nine? Bro, I didn't know the difference between man and woman until I was ten. He's already spitting feministic bullshit. God damn. She told us how he'd always offer to come out to the front to sharpen girls' pencils and would hold open the classroom door for them. If you look like this girl, you deserve it. Society is hard enough on you. But for some reason, Hans still seemed to struggle to make friends. He only ever hung out with one boy at school, who he had a few things in common with. It got worse. No shit. Once he became a teenager. He started spending all of his free time alone in his room or on the computer gaming. No shit multiplied by two. After our daughter moved out, my husband began to worry that Hans might be turning gay from spending all that time online playing with other boys. Are you fucking serious right now? I cannot believe you. You saw him simping for girls all his life. And you wonder if your son may turn gay? Do you know what sanity means? As far as I knew, he'd never even been on a single date. But one afternoon, Hans burst into the kitchen and begged to borrow my credit card. Apparently, he'd found a site where he could pay girls to play with him online. Look at his face. That's the face of a simp when he meets a girl. The prices seemed reasonable, so I gave it to him. Secretly, I hoped Hans might connect with the girl and they'd meet up in real life. What a meaningless hope. Pretty soon his bedroom walls were decorated with photos he'd printed out of the young ladies he was playing with. Wait a second. My fucking god. Do you guys remember the last video? Please go watch that video and you get what I mean. Sometimes I'd overhear him talking to one of them. You're so pretty. If you need anything, just let me know. He seemed so much happier. Until one day he seemed really down. Oh my fucking god. He is the guy talking shit about sims in the last video. Bro, I already marked you. Let's go for round two. 
He confided in me that whenever he played with a girl gamer, the other guys online would make rude and sexist remarks towards her. Of course, he'd always jump in to defend the damsel in distress, but the other guys had turned on him for it and started teasing him. Of course, look at his pathetic face. I just told him to ignore it and to keep doing what he thought was right. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for my husband. He hit the roof when he found out that Hans had been using my credit card to pay girls to play with him. I don't want any son of mine behaving like a simp, he yelled. I want this man to take matters into his hand and stop this madness. Bro, if I find out that my kid is paying girls to play with them, I go nuts. I think hearing that triggered something in Hans. Because after that, he started uploading videos to his YouTube, teasing other guys for simping. He'd call his father and I into the room to watch them as though he was trying to win his father's approval. That's more like it, my husband said. Teach those viewers to be men, not mice. Anyway, he got 5 fucking million views and I'm struggling my ass off to make it a thousand. This motherfucker made at least 5,000 fucking dollars. Hey, the videos were popular and his channel grew quickly. Hans actually started making money from them. But as fast as the money came in, he spent it. I'll never forget the first time Hans made a sizable donation to some girl online. He stood in his bedroom doorway, yelling down the hall, Mom, Mom, I can't believe it! She noticed me! She said my name on stream! Yeah, of course, what I was thinking. Attention. All they want is attention. My god, we are fucked! A few weeks after that, he asked his father and I if he could invite a girl around for dinner. My heart did a little jump for joy when Hans told me that he'd actually fallen for one of the girls he'd been paying to play with. That's great, honey, I said. Okay, maybe he stops simping for girls when he meets a real girl. Do you want to ask her over this Saturday evening? Not yet. Soon. She has a boyfriend at the moment. Why do you make me hopeful? I'm sad now. Depressed, to be honest. But don't worry. I just messaged her and told her I love her. When she realizes how much love I can give, she'll break up with him to be with me. Until then, I'll do whatever I can to help her mom. Yeah, of course. I don't know why, but this guy sounds familiar to me. Hans went on to explain how he'd been paying for her OnlyFans, and then making videos about it for his YouTube channel to help her get more exposure. People love it when I talk about her private content and make fun of simps. They actually think I'm doing them a favor. So, my videos do well. He said, it's a win-win for everyone. Oh, so you're like the knight in shining armor, I replied. Exactly. Enough. This is getting out of hand. Now you're simping to make money? You're a disgrace. You said it. My man, I'm proud of you. His father yelled as he stormed off, leaving me standing there, totally confused. Confused? Really? I'm still trying to wrap my head around it all. My husband seems to think being a simp is bad, but Han's YouTube channel is doing great. What? Just because his YouTube channel is doing great doesn't mean that he's not mentally ill. And everyone else seems to be happy. So maybe his simping isn't such a bad thing after all? What a useless mother. Go fuck yourself. I think you are one of the worst mothers in the entire fucking universe. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.